yeah, so this is a tutorial for this look. Um, it's, I don't know what to call it. I think I want to call it like laughing jester girl or something. I don't know. Um, I have no ideas, but um, you will read this up here and then you will know what it is because I don't know yet. Um, yeah, and this is just kind of my carnival inspired look. I was just inspired by these eyelashes, bold lips, and no eyebrows because as you guys know, I'm kind of in my no eyebrow stage. Um, I like everything without eyebrows. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do this, it's actually pretty easy. The, I think the hardest part is covering your eyebrows and there's lots of tutorials on YouTube um, for that. So yeah, so if you guys want to know how to do this, then just stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I actually did with this tutorial is um, I whited up my face a little bit with the Makeup Forever Lash Palette, the white. Um, just set it with white and then I covered my eyebrows, not well, but I did. Um, just cause I kind of wanted the whole like no eyebrow look. It's kind of what I'm into, I don't know why. Um, I know I asked in a video a while ago if I should bleach my eyebrows and people are like, no, don't do it. And I'm like, ah, I want to do it, but I don't know. Um, my mom's like, please don't do it. But anyway, so the, after I did that, it's a really easy tutorial. Um, but I think it's a really cool kind of like high fashion-y carnival look. Um, you'll see once I do the lips how I take it more to the carnival side. But the first thing I did is I kind of just carved out a little bit on the eye. And I really like the way that orange looks. Um, I don't know why, but I just do. So the color I took was this one from the 10 palette, like the 10 blush palette. And I'm just going to take a 224 from MAC. Swirl some around, tap it off, a little bit on there. And then I'm just gonna put that right in the crease. And this is kind of like a pinkish orange. Um, yeah. So then I'm also just gonna take this and kind of continue it right where like, see where my temple is? I have kind of indented right there. But just take it right from there and then up into that temple area. It kind of creates like a weird shadow. And then I'm also just going to continue the color right up to my forehead as well. To do some kind of like, um, contouring kind of. While I'm doing this, can I just talk about how incredibly hot it is in Canada right now? It's like 37. I don't know what that is. Fahrenheit? Let me see. Um, 98, so like almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit in Canada in May, and it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. It's kind of, kind of crazy. So I just buffed that out with a um, 109 from MAC. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a more actual orange color. And I'm going to take this color from MAC. Um, let me see what it is. I think it's Rule. I can't get it out. Right. Oh, yes, it's Rule. Um, it's just like a MAC kind of burnt orange. Uh, you could use orange for MAC, but I think it's too bright, so I'm going to use this one. And just go on the same brush, 224, and then just go over that. make it a little bit more orangey but it's been so hot that I haven't even want to put makeup on my face in like days I'm not even kidding I didn't even want to put clothes on for this tutorial but I did okay so then once you have that on that's pretty much it for that eye kind of area just make sure it's even Mine's not really even, but you can always just buff it out and add more. Whatever. So then the next thing I'm going to do is actually do my eyes. Um, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm just going to put on some mascara. And you can see that I just put these really long lashes. Now, everyone asks me in my tutorials what lashes I use. I don't know because I kind of just take them and put them all throughout whatever. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what they are at all, so I'm sorry, but basically they're like long eyelashes where the tips 
um, are longer so yeah so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you how to finish up the rest of it okay so I went ahead and just um, put some lashes on the bottom and fake lashes on the top um, I really like the way that fake eyelashes look when you have no eyebrows I think it looks awesome so for cheeks I'm pretty much gonna use the same colors to keep the colors all consistent um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this color first and then I'm gonna go over it with that orange and I kind of want it located right there on the cheek um, I don't want it off I kind of want it like mm, right there Okay, so once you have the cheeks done um, and blended to your liking, for some reason this side looks better than this side, I don't know. But whatever, it's for a tutorial, right? So who cares? It's kind of fun anyway. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit more orange and kind of just go kind of right along the side of my nose. kind of soften that up a little bit and I think I'm just gonna leave it um, like that just so that it's all kind of soft and then a thing to do just to make sure it's all even is just to take a clean fluffy brush like this um, with a little bit of the white that you use to set it or even like translucent powder and then just kind of buff everything because you want it to look really soft or at least I do anyway and you can even go over the eyes too just to make sure everything is all blended all together okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do lips and I'm just gonna go ahead and find my lip colors I want to use and then I'll be back Okay, so once you're done with everything on the face, you can see I just put my hair down and whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. I'm going to do red lips like I normally do. And I'm going to kind of change the shape, hopefully. Um, hopefully I don't look too crazy. Um, I'm using Russian red as usual. It's the red lipstick that I use and I have like that much left of it, so it's kind of sad, but... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my lip and then I'm going to change the shape up a little bit. And yeah, so this is the finished look. Um, as you can see, I kind of just extended the lipstick a little bit on each side to kind of have that creepy perma smile. Mmm, pervy. Um, yeah, and so that's everything for the look. Um, I really like it. I think it's kind of freaky and cool, um, especially with the eyelashes and yeah. Um, so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed that. And until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon. Bye. Bye.